Hey kids, ever wondered where your allowance comes from? Or why you can't buy a toy with just one penny? Today I'm going to teach you the basics of economics in just three minutes. Ready? Let's go. First up, let's talk about money is what we use to buy things. You can think of it like a magic tool that can get you anything from candy to video games, but where does money come from? Well, people work at jobs and get paid money for their work. Next, we have Goods are things you can touch and hold, like toys, books, or ice cream. Services are things people do for you, like giving you a haircut or teaching you how to read. So when you pay for a service, you're paying someone to do something for you. Now let's talk about needs are things you can't live without, like food, water, and shelter. Wants are things that are nice to have, but aren't necessary, like new video games or extra snacks. It's important to understand the difference because we can't always get everything we want. Have you ever heard of, picture this, Imagine you have a lemonade stand. If lots of people want lemonade, that's demand. But you only have a few cups to sell, that's supply. You can charge more money for each cup. But if you have lots of lemonade and only a few people want it, you might have to lower the price. That's how supply and demand work. Now on to. When you save money, you put it aside to use later. It's like keeping a treasure chest for future adventures. Spending is when you use your money to buy goods and services. It's a good idea to save some of your money and not spend it all at once. Let's not forget about Budgeting is planning how to spend your money. Think of it like a roadmap for your treasure hunt. You decide how much to save, how much to spend on needs, and how much to spend on wants. This way you can make sure you have enough for everything you need and still have some left for fun stuff. And there you have it. Now you know the basics of economics. Money, goods and services, needs and wants, supply and demand, saving and spending and budgeting. Understanding these can help you make smart choices with your money and resources. Thanks for watching and remember, learning is always an adventure. See you next time.